What if I told you that with the right AI tool, you could go from absolutely no idea to a fully working live full stack app in under an hour? All right, here's the plan. Today, you'll see how Zoir AI can take a completely blank canvas and turn it into a fully working full stack app that's live and ready for the world. With Zoir, it's possible to design, configure, and launch without getting lost in endless setup. Project visibility and database settings can be configured in minutes. The Zoir Copilot can generate complete operations in plain English, and nothing runs without your manual approval. So you're always in control. With Zoer, publishing an app to the market is effortless, making it instantly discoverable, purchasable, and trackable, right down to your sales and payouts from the dashboard. And when it's time to go live, deployment is just a few clicks away, with every line of generated code fully accessible for you to review, customize, and make your own. Whether you're brand new to coding or a seasoned developer, this is a perfect example of how AI can take you from zero to launch faster than ever. If you're ready, hit that like button, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So this is Zoer's official website. I had included the link to the page down below in the description box of this video. So here's where the magic happens, where you can go from a single sentence to a live full stack app, all operated by conversation. It means you can start typing about your idea, explain what you want to build, and it will begin creating a complete application from the database and back end to the front end just by chatting. Now, let's say we have no clear idea right now. Zoir has made it easy by providing some ready-made application examples right at the bottom. And here's the one I'm going to pick, this landing page for my new AI SaaS product. The moment we select it, Zoir automatically fills in a full, detailed prompt for a SaaS product. But that's not the end. You can make your prompt even better by clicking this Enhance button here. And just like that, Zoir rewrites it into a much cleaner, more detailed version, giving our project a more professional foundation. And here's another powerful feature. If you've seen a design you love, you can upload up to five screenshots. Zoar will analyze those images and replicate the same visual style, layout, and colors in your final app. That's pretty awesome, right? Now, if you pay attention to the left side, you'll see two more options that let you configure your project's visibility and database. For visibility, you've got two choices, public or private. For the database, Zoar gives you three simple options. No database that is great if you're just making a basic static website with no stored data. Zoer's managed database throw, which Zoer handles all the setup and hosting for you. And another option that is coming soon, which is connect your own database. Perfect if you already have your own database and want to link it. Now, here's how visibility affects your choice. If you pick public, your app can be shared with the world and even listed in Zoer's marketplace. But for security and privacy reasons, Public apps can only use no database or Zoer's managed database. If you pick private, your app stays completely confidential. To unlock private projects, you'll need to upgrade your account to premium. Right at the bottom, there's a link to upgrade to premium and unlock Zoer's higher limits. If you click it, you'll see all the plans and pricing. But here's the best part. Testing the platform and trying out its features is totally free. All right, let's go ahead and click this arrow button. Zoer's AI now analyzes the prompt and any images we've attached, and in just seconds, it creates a full project plan with detailed design specifications based on exactly what we asked for. Nice, now we can preview the structure. And if it looks good, all we need to do is click Build App. But let's spice things up. Say we didn't attach any images and we want to set our own theme color. I'm going to type, set the theme to a dark mode layout with a black background. Use the following colors as gradient accents for various site elements, incorporating them with subtle spotlight effects throughout the pages. You can pick any colors you want here. Let's click the arrow again. Zoer rewrites the plan and updates everything with our custom theme. Now I notice there's no header section, so let's fix that. I'll type, I'd like my project to include a well-structured header and footer section, ensuring consistent navigation and branding across all pages. Zoer AI instantly updates the structure, and there it is, a perfectly added header and footer, just as we requested. Nice. Finally, 
Let's really challenge Zoer with some animations. I'm typing, please incorporate advanced animations into the project, including scroll triggered effects where elements smoothly fade in from the left, right, or bottom. Great. Now it will regenerate the design and layout we requested and hopefully deliver amazing results. Now we click build app and Zoer gets to work, transforming all of our ideas, customizations, and style choices into a ready to use fully functional app. And remember the front end is just a small part of Zoer's capabilities. We're building a complete full stack application. As you can see, the very first step is building database. Unlike other tools that jump straight into the UI and usually give you a basic mock-up with no database or real functionality, Zoer AI takes the foundation first approach. It builds the core database schema before writing any code, making sure your app is stable and scalable right from the start. I've been working with this tool for days now, and I have to say it's really rare to run into errors, unlike with many other tools out there. This step might take around two minutes, and as I'm looking at it now, I can already see something exciting, uh, an amazing hero section. Let's explore it further in a new tab by clicking this link icon. And remember, this isn't just a static preview, it's a complete live web application. We've got a clean professional header and a beautifully designed hero section. Let's scroll down and just look at these animations. Super smooth. Next up, we've got the marketing teams section. Then the problem solution presentation looking awesome. Scroll down a bit more and we hit the key features section. And right after that, a guide that walks users through getting started in three simple steps. Every single section is packed with amazing details. I've got to say, this is definitely the best output I've ever seen from an AI app generator. It's really impressive that you can create such a polished UI with only a single prompt. And remember, it's not just about the UI. Let's continue and see how we can turn this project into one that actually has a brain, can store and manage data for products, events, users, or just about anything your app needs. Let's check out the database that Zoer automatically generated for us as an example. I'll also show you how you can manage and modify this database using Zoer's built-in Copilot, which acts almost like a database assistant. Right here at the top, click database to open it. And as you can see, we have several structured tables, analytics, events, stores tracking data about user actions, page visits, or any event you want to measure. Contact inquiries, keeps records of messages or inquiries submitted through your site's contact forms. Newsletter subscribers, holds subscriber details perfect for email marketing or updates. Testimonials, contains customer reviews and feedback you can showcase on your site. Users, manages registered user profiles, authentication data, and account details. This is powerful because most AI-generated apps from other tools only give you a front-end shell. Here, Zoer has built a fully functional back-end foundation complete with a relational database schema right from the start. That means your app is ready to store, query, and update real data without you having to set up any database manually. Next, let's check out the code. Here, Zoer gives us complete access to the full source code of the app it just built. This isn't just a preview, it's the actual production-ready code. If you want to work on it locally or integrate it into your own workflow, you can simply click the Download button over on the right. In just one click, you'll get the entire code base packaged neatly as a zip file, ready to open in VS Code or any editor you like. Now, also on the right side, we have the Settings option. This is where you can rename your app, add a clear description so people understand what it does at a glance, change the visibility, make it private for your own testing or public so others can explore it. Set a price if you want to sell it in Zoer's marketplace. This turns your project into a monetizable product instantly, which is a big plus for developers who want to earn from their builds. We'll actually walk through publishing at the very end of this tutorial. Then we have the share option. Most beginners start with Zoer's free plan, which gives you a limited number of credits. Zoer gives you the option to share your project on LinkedIn or Twitter, and in return, it rewards you with 20 free credits so you can keep building without interruptions. That's a smart way to continue experimenting and learning. All right, now let's add some interactivity to our project. Say we want this login button to trigger a smooth animated login form when clicked. We just tell it what we want. So in a new AI prompt, we type, when the user selects the login button, display a smooth 
animated login form that pops up. That's it. No code, no syntax errors, no worrying about event listeners or animation keyframes. The AI handles it all. Now watch this. Zor starts generating a brand new login component, wiring it directly into the app's existing structure and styling it to match our current design system. This process usually takes less than a minute. Done. Let's preview it. Look at that. A clean, modern login form with subtle spotlight effects, smooth transitions, and perfect alignment. It looks like something straight out of a professionally designed SaaS platform. This isn't just good for AI, it's production quality, ready for real-world use. All right, now we're at one of my absolute favorite parts of Zoer, the Copilot. This is the moment where we go beyond just having an app and actually operating it in real time. Down at the bottom right corner, you'll see the Copilot icon. Go ahead and click it. Think of this like having your own personal senior developer sitting next to you, ready to understand plain English instructions and instantly turn them into working code. Let's try something together. In the input box, I'll type add a new newsletter subscriber named, enter any name here, followed by an example email and a subscription date of 2025-08-12. Now watch closely. The second I hit enter, Zor's Copilot instantly translates that plain English request into a perfectly written SQL query that will insert this new subscriber into our database. And here's the thing. If you're new to development, SQL can look like a foreign language with its insert into statements, field mappings, and syntax rules. Normally, you'd have to learn all of that. But, but with Copilot, you can skip straight to the results. And here's where Zoar really earns my respect as a developer. It's safe by design. It never just goes off and changes your database on its own. Instead, it pauses, shows you the exact query it's about to run, and asks, is this what you want? That way you're always in control and nothing happens until you approve it. Once we're happy, we click run and that new subscriber is instantly added. With this approach, you can perform anything from mass updates across thousands of rows to deleting old test data, all with the simplicity of chatting to a friend, yet still with the precision and control of a professional developer. Now it's time to check our database. It looks like the information we requested for the newsletter subscriber hasn't appeared yet, so let's refresh the page. And yes, there it is. The new subscriber info was successfully added to our database. Perfect. Next, we want to set a price for the project we generated and publish it to Zoeir's community. For some reason, it looks like I can't set the price right now, but that's okay. We'll just click the publish button. We can set the price afterward via the settings option. All right, publishing is complete. Now let's navigate to settings. And here we can set the price of our project so other users can purchase it. Next, let's click view in community. And there it is. The project we just generated is now accessible to other Zoeir users. They can explore the full platform, review it, and even purchase it. You can also browse projects created by other users here. It's amazing to see what the community is building. Finally, it's time to deploy our project. At the top right of the page, you'll see the deploy option. Go ahead and click it. Then click start deployment and Zoeir will take care of the rest. The deployment process typically completes within a minute. Once finished, a link to your live website will be displayed. And just like that, we've gone from nothing to a fully functional deployed project, ready for the world to see. We checked our database, published our work to the Zoar community, set our price, and with just a few clicks, sent it live. The best part, this is only the surface of what Zoar can do, from front-end design to full-stack operations and even community-driven sales. It's all in one place. Jump in, experiment, share your projects, and maybe even earn from them. If you have any questions or if you faced any errors along the way, just leave a comment down below and let me know. I'll be back soon with another exciting video. Until then, keep building.